Hello guys, welcome back to the Domain Racer and in this video we are going to tell you how to create custom name servers for your domain in Domain Racer. The process is extremely simple but you need to watch this video very careful because private name server creation is very sensitive job. So for that you just need to watch this video first. So let's begin with the process. The very first we can go to the domain section and open a domain for demonstration we are using a domain called as a domain racer dot review and then in the next tab I am going to open a service that is a web hosting service and here we are using a domain racer web hosting service so click here here don't be confused this is a web hosting and this is a domain control panel and this is a hosting control panel here if you scroll down you will find the named servers with a IP addresses so you need to use these IP addresses to configure your private name server or custom name servers now go to the domain section and click on private name servers the names might be private name server custom name servers or a white label name servers here make sure that you can able to perform only three operations adding a new or modifying it and delete it here make sure that if you are doing at the first time you just need to directly enter here ns1 and the IP address so this is the IP address and here paste suppose mistakenly you had did some mistake and click on save and you never remember this IP address then you cannot able to modify it or add new entry because it's already added into database so in this case you can able to add here ns1 and click on save changes means it will delete ns1 entry from the database so here you need to do a practice that if you are entering any new record make sure that enter properly if it is getting mistake then you can able to delete directly you wanted to modify the IP address of a ns1 or ns2 or a dns1 dns2 in this case you need to previous IP address as well as new IP address okay if you don't know then delete it and create a fresh one so in this case we are using ns1 and the IP address is this one and click on save changes so this video has two parts first one is domain end IP configuration and second one is at hosting end IP configuration first part we are doing here now the second IP ns2.domainracer.review so this is the IP address we can able to use and click and paste save changes now we had added two DNS records or you can say a name servers or a private name servers in our database so from domain provider end we had completed our IP and name server configuration now we have to go to the web hosting control panel for that you can able to directly click on login to WHM you cannot able to go with the C panel you need to go with WHM because it's an easy process now scroll down and look for the section edit DNS zone and always make sure that you have set NS1 to this and NS2 to this so here you need to select a domain name so in this case we are using domain racer dot review and edit it so this is a hosting panel and configuration so scroll down and here check for the any entry that is available NS1 or NS2 if available then modify it if it is not then create a new one so in this case NS1 and NS2 so it is a record a record okay do very properly single mistakes will cause a problem because of that please watch video very carefully first and then perform so this is IP address this is NS1 IP address second NS2 IP address so this is these are the two IP addresses we had entered now we have to go upside and you have to replace this name server so in this case we do not need a ns3 so it click select so if you click here select automatically this all entries will gone okay so now we have only two entries so now copy this so here we I have copied dot as well and here you need to paste here so here ns1 dot domain racer dot review dot similarly ns2 dot domain racer dot review dot and here as well you can able to replace it so we had successfully replaced the data so this is the simplest method 
now you have to scroll down and click on save now i will repeat this part ns1 a record ip address ns2 a record ip address it has to be same as we had updated here you cannot able to uh, do a exchange in between because if we do that the ns name servers or custom name servers will never work okay so this is the two thing if it is already exist then remove it or modify it with these two ip addresses and here always you need to add the your name servers ns1 dot domain address and at the end you have to enter a dot 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 and click on save okay now you have to re-verify it click on edit dns zone we are telling you this because it's a very critical job and if you are doing any mistakes you need to re-verify it so you will avoid the mistake you might think that there is some mistakes happen then you can able to click on reset dns zone and then reset it to a default one then you can restart the all the steps okay so here we had added the records ns1 ns2 are properly one then this these three one two and three records are also properly now the last part is go to the basic web hosting manager and click on here and here you need to add ns1 dot domain racer dot review and click on save now at the hosting part we had completed 100 percent private name server configuration now at the domain provider end we just need a one thing remaining that is go to the domain name servers and here we need to add this name servers domain racer dot review and second the capital and small will be automatically will be detected so no worry about it and click on save changes now after all these changes we had successfully completed our dns or private name server configuration please make sure that it is clearly mentioned that it might take 24 hours to update all the dns records private name servers and everything and after 24 hours you can able to start using this name servers for your client so if you have any doubt or any clarification or need any video guide then comment below so we will come up with new video